Welcome to a new series on Cineversity and this is release 14 with some new features in it and I want to talk about this of course. The whole series is about camera projection or camera mapping and of course about the new camera calibrator. <laughs> And so we have now a huge tool set here inside of Cinema 4D where you can create really a stunning work. And I want to help you, of course. And normally you would say, hey, camera mapping, that's a camera that gives me just here the perspective for the projection of the textures. That's simple. I want to fill in maybe some gaps. And to brag a little bit, I do this since the 90s. And <laughs> I have gained some knowledge inside of that, especially where things fail. And it's, I have to say, not that simple just to put a camera up for the projection and then you are done. But I also want to share a lot of tips and tricks that I haven't seen so far, or maybe I have missed it somewhere else. What I want to do here is to bring you so far that you know how to do a shot like that where you can move a camera here across the street without having a crane and a budget in a six-digit number and where you can do this even without putting any tripod legs on a street because in LA, and this here is LA, you need a permission for that. So what I want to show you here is of course one scene from a music video that I produce and that I have created and designed and so on. So enough bragging. <laughs> and what I do here is of course show you that the whole scene is just done with photographs except for the billboards here of course the inside of the billboards is a video clip i have here a placeholder in it because i don't want to show the whole movie right now and so the idea of the whole clip that i had here was the the song is about la and so i wanted to interweave the whole song with la so they jump out of the <laughs> billboard here not literally just in this way here that the camera goes out and then it goes to another billboard and in that short moment where I do something like a cut I show you LA in, in that way so it is the whole band here and to get the structure I have several streams each stream has here pretty much one billboard and so I go through different parts of the city and it looks then always in this way. We have a lot of options inside of camera projection and it's not just putting an image there. When you see here the reflections and some bump mapping and of course combine it here with real geometry. There is a lot of stuff possible and I want to show you of course how to get those reflections very fast because when you do this directly into the photo that you use for that, you waste maybe a lot of time. As I said before, and I feel always I brag with this, but I have to give you, of course, the information. I have done it now way over one decade, and the first one was on TV in 99, even for a documentary opener. And I have learned a lot of stuff since then. <laughs> That means I have done also a lot of mistakes and I want to give you, of course, all of that knowledge just here in this series. The series by itself builds up on the idea that I want to bring you the knowledge that you need in different steps. So to just go to the last part and try to hope to get the whole rundown will make you not happy on the long run. Maybe for the next deadline, but there's always more knowledge is better. Just to put a little pressure on <laughs> the trigger button to watch all the tutorials here and go through it. So enough of uh, educational uh, instruction. What I want to do here is pretty simple. And for that, we go then immediately to another scene. But first of all, I go here to my editor camera and I go here out of the scene and that is the whole scene here. <laughs> That's the whole thing here. And you see, it's nearly nothing. But I can show you that, of course, here in the picture view, I have prepared this and it's not very big. It's just a preview. And here you see another one inside. So it's maybe a little bit confusing, but you see there is a lot of parallax in it. And this is only a dummy shot because I'm in the middle of the production. And so you get here a lot of parallax, a lot of movement. And the beauty of all of that is you can change the camera whenever you like. 
and of course in certain degrees only because when you take a look here to this scenario there is not so much flash in the scene just enough for example here to have reflections in the window this is also only for reflection here what i highlight here with the new highlight option in cinema 4d and this is pretty much what you see here in the picture directly and here in the background and then i have here background plates where you can see the city in the background and all of that okay so let's get started and i promise you it will be pretty boring on the start because we talk about boxes and let's check out one of these boxes so here I stay in an empty scene. I call up a camera and a camera calibrator. I choose an image and then I use here a um, crit, which I put here on this prepared box. And this box is of course for educational purposes only. <laughs> it's very prepared and you might get not always those nice guidelines here. But to show you a little bit how the whole process works to finally find now in release 14 the camera this is all you need to do and then you are fairly close to the camera you can give in some measurements and you can see the field of view or the focal length is pretty much identical even with these very fast and uh, easy setup then i have created with the camera calibrator in camera tag and as you can see here, the box starts where I have my zero, 00 origin point from the whole thing. So when I move this around, I get here then the projection right. And I can see in a certain degree around the box. And you see here I have some frames around. And I put a plane underneath so you can see how it works when I use here an animated camera. And then now I have two cameras here in the scene. And that's pretty much it. And when you take a look to the scene now and maybe you compare this later when we go through these boxes in different ways to use this box inside of the series you might notice that you gain more and more an understanding about camera projection projection uv and how textures works and i will go also inside of my chalkboard again and explain maybe a little bit about perspective because what i've seen to 98 percent in the education and i have quite some uh, that the teachers don't really get it yeah that's true and it's maybe a massive attack against these but a two-point perspective is not limited to two points just to say that and there exactly is my critique point and i want to bring you over that point so you belong then to the 2% who know that. <laughs> okay, see you in the next one.